her socks? T-shirt? Um, if you look at a painter or a sculpturer who make uh, stone looking soft, he has a lot of manual skills. And if you just um, look at the physician who get their skills in their practice, they're also somehow artists and the outcome is not the painting or um, the sculpture, it's the patient. How we can you know uh, change? How we can blend art during our through medicine or the practice of medicine? Do we need to change uh, like uh, medical education, or we just <laughs> go outside the medical education, have other courses, or uh, or just keep it like this and keep the people who are talented or they have their personal background in this? Keep the art for the artist, medicine for the physician, and. Keep like this, or you feel that this there is a need really. I think there is. And it's not only for him. I, I would, if I personally would choose a natural birth over a cesarean section, if it's not possible, I would like to have a gynecologist who shares my ethics. Who shares Do you think this, this idea is a common between female patients now or no? They know that the 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 the, the, the gynecologists. No, they, they don't for, know. But some, they don't know. But, but some because know. you have a background. <laughs> Yeah, because you have to learn basic things, basic scientific things before one could understand the connections. Because if I do not know what is actually going on medically, I can never see the connections or I can never see the whole thing, I think. What do you think about this? For me, I don't think so. Because you still say and think that it is not the basics. It is anatomy and physiology and this scientific background of medicine is the basic or the basis line we should start from. I think it is a comprehensive uh, way of approaching a human being and we cannot just give him like um, a victim of just equations and numbers and uh, um, this, is, this is why I think we should start as early as possible because later on we cannot change. Now I am the one who is, who is talking about medicine and art and humanity. I don't think that I can change my practice now because unless I have this background or my personal background or my personal attitude in the life is like this. Tells me if everything Hello. is okay. I'm sorry. I, can you please sit down for a second? Is something wrong? I can't tell you anything, I don't really know, but you have to wait, the doctor is coming in a minute and he's going to tell you everything. You know nothing. There's a problem which... Ah, here it well, is. What kind of problem? Oh. Uh, hello, uh, where is my son? Um, I'm the assistant of Dr. Arafai, and um, we have been in the operating theater for the last four or five yeah, hours. Yeah, I know. And the thing is, <coughs> we... The, you know, the what are you person. trying to tell me? Um, I just have to say the bad news um, that your son has died. But, but, but you said he'll be fine. You, you said that this is a routine thing. We just, we, Where is he? What happened? The thing is that maybe it looks like from the outside that he's uh, looking fine and good. But um, after uh, the opening we have seen a very severe bleeding and we couldn't fix that as far but as I mean that, that we all know that there are vessels and there's blood how, how can you not fix that that's your job yeah but the thing is if you are fast enough even though the emergency uh, was quite fast here it was too late and we did our best and we, if you want to follow me you can see your son but but you just li left him there and, and no, how how him. how can you just not help him? We help. This school is friends and some guy make trouble there, and she said, uh, it's not okay. We don't like this." And she. This school is <laughs> <and> so. <laughs> yes. 
I really appreciate the other views of perspective, especially patient and doctor, as a patient physician view, and as well the thinking out of the box, not always strict like. I also feel more relaxed now, and I like the course because we were discussing so much about this and this topic, and like, not it was not forced that we have to do some presentations. We were just discussing and talking about different opinions and. Like seeing the patient as a whole person and not just the disease that you're specialized on as a doctor. And I liked all the discussions. Thank you. It Alexander. Was, yeah. It was interesting to move away from the scientific aspects in studying medicine because we have to know a lot of facts and numbers and and tests and so on and now I've never thought about that medicine is a combination of art and science actually and this it's a pity that not that it's, that it's just an elective so that not every student mm. can have this kind of course because sometimes it's opening one's eyes that to think a different way. Right. I know. So oh, the serious, you should go for acting. I'm telling you. I'm, you, I'm you, not always serious. No, it's not that I mean serious, but I mean you can you take the the role of the mother very well. <laughs> thank you. No, um the the elective was completely different than I actually expected it to be because I thought that it would be more like um, a presentation of facts and history and, and different paintings and so on. But as it was surprising to me, it was also um, nice and a good way to observe or get to know to your own mind and also to um, experience the thoughts of others. And well, it was quite impressive and I think I will take something from it. Yeah. <laughs> um, I think this course just... What's your name? Nazi. No, no, Nazi. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think this course just put on a complete different dimension on both medicine and art. That they kind of are codependent on each other, especially medicine and art. And it's... I think nobody of us expected it to be this deep. A totally new perspective about med medicine that I didn't think about before. And I think that this course really made clear that you don't have to um, look at medicine in only one way. You have so many different ways of looking at things. And I think I'm going to take away a lot of it. <laughs>